In this video I want to show you what text editors and IDEs you can use in order to write your code. Hi, I am Alexander Kocherhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a developer or improve your skills of being a developer in learning by doing way. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will link everything that I am mentioning in the description box below. So let's jump right into it. So what editor or IDE you should pick? And it really depends on the language that you are writing. For example, if you are writing iOS applications, that I will recommend only using Xcode and nothing more, because you are getting too much out of IDE and this is IDE that was created specifically to develop this type of applications, which means you have things like autocomplete, auto-import, checking your code, building your code with compiler and uh, previewing your real application in your machine, which means it doesn't make sense to use any other the editor because you will get like 5% of what you need. Which means if you have some specific language, like for example maybe .NET and then you use Visual Studio, or you are using Xcode to write iOS applications, or maybe for Android applications you are using Android Studio, it just makes sense to stick to that one IDE, which makes it the best and cover all your needs. But we also have another case. When we have not specific language, but general language, then we can use any editor that we want. For example, if we are using something like PHP or Ruby, Python, JavaScript, whatever, these are all general languages, which means you don't really get some specific feature in some uh, IDE that other editors can't implement. And then we are coming just to the taste. So here is a short answer for you. Out of all paid and free IDEs and editors, I can recommend you VS Code, Visual Studio Code, which is really the most popular ones and the fastest. Which means it is supported by all operational systems, it is built with Electron by Microsoft, it is really fast, it supports a lot of languages, and you can just start developing applications in it in a matter of minutes. And actually, if you're just a beginner, it is even better, because you can install your favorite color theme or plugins that you need for specific languages, and you are good to go. But except of VS Code, we have other stuff on the market, maybe it's not that popular, but at least you need to know what exists. First of all, we have Sublime Text Editor. And this is like the oldest text editor there, which was built long, long ago, and it was really popular at some point. And it is really fast and you can install a lot of plugins there and it will work really nice. But we don't get a lot of new features there and it is really like stale text editor. This is why I can't recommend picking it. But actually if you just need some text editor to quickly change some code, then you can for sure install it. The next one is Atom. Atom was developed by GitHub and at some point it was also popular, but it was really, really laggy, especially with additional plugins, and it was actually also built with Electron, so it works nicely in all uh, operational systems. But uh, comparing, uh, for example, Visual Studio Code and Atom, Atom has also a lot of features, but VS Code, first of all, is much, much faster, and secondly, has really nice support of different languages. The next editor there is Brackets, and Brackets is a mostly web editor because it was created with the focus in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It was created by Adobe and it is really somehow similar to Visual Studio Code, but it's just less popular. Now several words regarding IDE. Actually, there is only one ID which is worth mentioning, and this is Intelligence Idea. Actually, this is like a bunch of editors, actually IDEs, uh, this is one core version of Intelligence Idea, and then you get specific language with specific part. For example, there is PHP Storm, like the 
a fork of intelligence idea where you have good support of PHP, then you have PyCharm with support of Python, RubyMine for Ruby and WebStorm for uh, web development. And actually it works really nice and it has a lot of small features that you really understand when you're using it a lot. Like for example you just deleted a directory in your editor and you want to have it back. And then you just uh, click common Z and then your directory is there. And actually not a lot of text editors support such small things. This is why it is really nice. But first of all the performance there is not that great. You need really a strong machine to use it and secondly it is paid. But actually it's the only idea that is worth trying. So my opinion here is that if you just need a text editor, especially free, then you need to stick with VS Code and you won't have any problems. If you want to make some advanced stuff and you want to try a real IDE, then just install something like WebStorm, which is intelligence idea. And as you saw in all my videos, I didn't use any text editor from above because I'm using Vim. And this is actually a completely different category. Because after like a lot of years of writing code, you want to write code faster and better because you don't spend that much time thinking about code, but you're really writing a lot of code. And then you want to improve it in your editor. And the problem with all that editors that I mentioned, that you can't really improve improve the speed of writing code there. Yes, sure, there are some keybinds that helps, but not a lot. And actually in the world I saw only two editors that can help you to write code like super fast. And this is Emacs and Vim. And I'm actually using Vim. It is super difficult to configure, so I can't recommend it for beginner. But if you have like 3-5 years of experience and you have some time which you want to invest in the speed of writing code, then I can highly recommend it you to look on Vim or to look on Emacs. I hope that this video helped you to understand what text editor or IDE you need to use in order to start writing your code. And also don't forget to check my full courses regarding various web technologies that I have and I will link them in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video.